coming back to this fine uh, just uh, read the things uh, what it says the following scenario relates to question 98 to 10 a cherry blossom company manufacture custom made furniture and its year end is how much 31st 31st uh, april okay 31st april fine you are an audit supervisor you are an audit supervisor means you are your designation at a lower level always always keep it in mind what is our position okay every question the position will change okay of a popular and a, of a popular company that is a client and a developing uh, that that is audit company uh, and developing a audit program for cherry forthcoming interior audit we are talking about interior audit see interior audit is part of the final audit but it will be done throughout the year is right it will be done throughout the year if you are see just imagine just remember if the things are fine in the interior audit the task in the final audit will be more easy difference between interior audit and final audit you are have ascertained that cherry purchases it materials from a wide range of approved suppliers means they have the list they are following the rules when production sub supervisors require raw material they complete a requisition form is it and this is submitted to the ordering department is that this is examination question june 15th okay uh, requisition forms do not require authorization no they need authorization okay without authorization you cannot you cannot work on that fine you need authorization and no reference is made again there is some issue here is that no, to to the current inventory level we should know what is the current status of the inventory whenever we are talking about the materials cherry has a internal audit department which is perhaps provided you with details of internal controls around the non current assets cycle is it we are talking in terms of what we are talking in terms of purchases of raw materials inventory okay one such control is that upon receipt of new asset each asset will be given a unique serial number that's good and this is recorded in the on uh, the assets and in the non current asset register fine they are saying that whenever they receive the asset they it will be given a unique serial number and subsequently it will be recorded in the non current asset the internal department internal audit dip also reviewing the computerized system which impact their financial statements they are looking at both general controls is it general controls and information process application controls okay they are talking in terms of general controls and application controls fine now as per okay read once please once it is get done just let me know i am waiting for your response number 
as part of audit planning which one number 3 uh, what about you gaita yes sir i will go same with lay level but say can i put submit yes is it right now second one Yes, Gaita. You have to tell first. Okay, sir. One minute. Take your time. I think uh, sir the third uh, choice one and four one and four what about you laila one second Yeah, little bit quick. Same, sir. Huh? Uh, same. I will go to the same. Uh, one and four. Yes. Listen, what they are asking us? What What is the scenario? They are talking about the scenario where there is a they are placing the order and there is no reference no authorization no inventory control levels are there see the scenario no inventory control levels are there fine and apart from that uh, they are they because of that what will happen they will purchase more they will purchase less okay what is the answer fraudulent purchases may be made leading to funds being diverted to third parties for illegal purpose there is no illegal purpose here we are focusing on the inventory we are focusing on the inventory levels when you are focusing on the inventory levels whenever you accept the order keep it in mind the order you should know that you have the quantity with you or not if you have the quantity then only you have to accept the order otherwise you cannot accept the order in this point paragraph number 3 when production supervisors require raw materials there is a requisition form and that is submitted to the purchase ordering department fine good requisition forms do not require authorization without authorization we cannot issue the material he, here the matter is related to issue of material 
and no reference is made to the current inventory levels is that we are not referring the current inventory levels when you are not giving any reference to current inventory levels then what will happen one minute is it when we are we are not giving any requisitions when any any, uh, any refer no reference is made to the current inventory levels okay if no inventory levels is there what will happen you you can purchase you can accept the order without anything fine i am giving you explanation why is you have to make a correction to the answer next what they say what you have given the first one is you have done c is it right c fine next one what we have done 1 and 4 okay 1 and 4 first is fraudulent purchases may be made leading to funds we are not talking about purchases we are talking about the issue of materials understand what we are talking about issue of materials so there is no purchases to the third parties nothing is there we are not placing the purchase form we are we are talking about internally in terms of issue fine so the first point will not come understand point the first point any doubt is there you question me any doubt is there you question me next first is not coming if first is not coming what will happen the first option is not right the second option is not right okay now we have to come with 2 3 and 4 stocks outs may occur resulting in the company being unable to meet orders and lost revenue we are receiving the orders when you are receiving the orders you have received the order but you if you look back and see that there is no inventory management is there you you cannot say that with once you accept the order you cannot say that i don't have the stock i will issue tomorrow no immediately i told you whenever you are making an online purchase in the online purchases what will happen they will mention very clearly how many quantities remaining is it right how many quantities remaining if you are purchasing online a tickets if you are purchasing any online they will say this much quantities available so that you can you can place the order that much only sometimes what will happen quantity 10 will be available but you cannot place the order more than 5 maximum you can place 5 five quantity this is what it says is right means what happens if you are uh, no reference is made to the current inventory levels of the material being requested if there is no reference is what is the current level definitely what will happen you stocks may stocks outs may occur may will running of the stock resulting in the company unable to meet lost orders and lost revenue okay It means if you have the quantity accept the order if you don't have the quantity don't have. always the quantity should be reflected whether it is manual or it is computerized you should know what is the remaining balance the first point unnecessary purchase may be made resulting in excess obsolete raw materials accumulating in inventory requiring to be returned out see when you don't have is it we don't have the current balance of inventory then how we can manage your inventory think about it how we can manage your inventory we don't know if you have the current inventory see if you have done inventory management level management you have reorder level minimum level maximum level danger level all these thing economic order quantity these are all the things Re remember this somewhere you have done is that whenever you are talking about the inventory you will say what is the minimum level what is the maximum level what is the reorder level is that 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 will give you a indication yes this much inven if the moment it is going to be at the reorder level we have to reorder the quantity so that there should be a clear supply chain management has to be worked here otherwise what will happen you will order 
it will be overstock it will be understock it will be plus or it will be minus fine next that is the sec third point fine raw materials of poor quality may be purchased why it is purchasing poor quality they have mentioned very clearly that it has approved suppliers when it has been placed by the approved suppliers definitely there is no point of having raw materials which is going to be purchased of poor quality if you are if you are uh, placing the order with with uh, not in the list then the poor quality may result is a low quality products will result fine Be, but here in our case it is not the point because when you are placing with the approved list of suppliers there are they are going to supply with the highest quality what is the answer here two and four sir yes gaita four will not come Four will not come because it is it is placed with the approved suppliers. If it is see, it has been written clearly. Is it right? It has been written clearly that uh, one, two, and third one. Okay. One, third. one, and. Th Pardon. One and three, sir. The first choice. First choice. Okay. I will submit. Okay. One. Uh, which one I have to go? Tell me. I will go with Gaita. Okay, one and three. What is the answer? Two and three. Two and three. I told you. Just I explained you completely. Four is not the answer, is it right? Four is not the answer because they are purchased, they are supplying with the approved suppliers. When you are, say, say, are placing the order with approved su suppliers, the the you will not have any you will not have any issue as such. The fact that read the comment very important. The fact that raw materials are being ordered without reviewing inventory levels means that. both stock outs and excess obsolete inventory are likely the lack of authorization means that fraudulent purchases could be made we don't have authorization okay but there is an approved supplier list and money laundering risk seems far fetched approved supplier list is there is it right when you have the approved supplier list definitely we cannot we cannot manipulate it likewise poorer quality goods may be ordered but the approved supplier list does not act as a control here and going concern risk are irrelevant is that going concern risk means fine we are we are we are placing the orders on the approved supplier list okay when you are placing the order with approved supplier list you will not have any any fraudulent or anything that can create any issues as such are you clear about this yes sir okay now slowly and steadily okay next what is question number 100 yes laila now you have to tell one by one i will give option to alternately while reviewing purchase cycle you identify that goods received not for raw materials are not sequentially numbered is it or not they have not given any sequence number okay which of the following areas would be considered to be most at risk of material misstatement sequence order is not given 1 2 3 4 5 6 then what will happen
सेकंड सर नो प्रॉब्लम टेक योर टाइम Sir, the third option. Third option. Existence of okay. inventory. Excess of inventory. Okay, one minute. We will wait. Yes, guys, Laila. It will be in table, sir. Yes. You have not given sequence one, two, three, four, five, six. Assume one sequence is second missing. One, sir. Huh? Second one, it is in tables. Elevation of tables. See the things. You have not given the sequence. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One, two. Now what will happen? Assume you have missed. You have not given numbers as such. When you have not given numbers, can we track down the things? Is it? Can we track down the things? Can can we say that yes, it is in order or not? Is that what is the importance of giving numbers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? When you are saying that when we are counting the series sequence number, we can say that yes, sequence number is 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 the we are talking anything about valuation here? No, 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 sir. We are talking about invalid. No. We are talking about any existence here. We are counting inventory quantity something here. Yes. Quantity, not I am talking about. We are. Are we counting sequence number or quantity? Series. Sequence. Sir. Sequence number. We are not talking about the quantity. We are talking about the sequence number. They made very clearly. Is that right? they made very clearly that it is not sequentially numbered. Is that it is not sequentially numbered? When it is not sequentially numbered, are we talking about the valuation? No. Are we talking about the existence of the inventory? No, sir. Then it will be right and the obligation of inventory. Rights and obligation is nothing but title ship has to be there in your name. Is that you should own it? Are you are you thinking about owning it? Are we thinking about own title? Or rights means ownership. Obligation means payments. Is that obligation means payments? You have the right and you have to pay. Are we talking about anything about rights and obligation ownership here? No sir. Then. No sir. If we are talking about the sequence number, it is nothing but completeness. Completeness one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. We will go by numbers. Yes, we have ten rows. We have ten. We will count it. Whether 
if you have the sequence number, nothing will be missed. Is that if nothing will be missed? It is not related. Sequence number is not related to rights and obligation. It is not related to valuation. It is not related to the existence. It is related to the completeness. Okay, any time sequence number is related to the completeness. Read the explanation. The fact that the goods received note are not sequential number means that GRNs may be omitted from accounting records and it will be difficult to trace the unrecorded GRNs. As a result, the risk is that payables is understated. We are not putting the we are not putting the numbers. If you are not putting the numbers, maybe we will miss some of the goods received note. When we are not, when we are missing goods received note, then there is a possibility that we are going to understate, means undervalue the payables. So that is the reason why we will give goods uh, sequence number to track down the things. Is it okay? Once it's done, once you understood, understand the thing, then you tell me. Take your time. Yes, sir, it is clear now. Yes, Laila. Yes, sir, it's clear. Next. One by one. The first one, start with Laila alternatively. They are asking whether it is general control or information processing control. Okay. General controls, the concept is general controls applies to all staff, whereas processing controls is applied to a specific staff. You should know whether it is applying to all or it is applying to a specific staff as such. Okay. It is, it is applicable to all or it is going to apply to a specific staff as such. Now, tell me. In relation to the internal audit department review, the computerized systems indicate whether each control is a general IT control or a processing control. Okay? Now, when you are doing the things, only authorized staff have read and write access to the finance systems. Other users have read only access to specific reports that they require to their rules. Finance staff have the access, okay? Other staff can read, okay? Other staff can read. Means the access is given to all, but there is a restricted access, okay? That is a restricted access. It is a general control or application control, processing control? Process controls. Only authorized staff have read and write with access to the finance system. Okay. See, in the finance, de in the finance system, the department, you are giving to all the, all the people in the finance systems. Okay. All authorized people in the finance department. Finan all, authorized, all authorized people in the finance department. Other users, is that right? other users have have read only, they can read only the thing, they can view the reports which they require. Any, any processing is happening here? The general staff, okay, the, the 
the staff of the finance department when they say staff of the finance department they are talking about each and every staff of the finance department authorized staff we are not talking about the authorized staff of the finance department finance department will be huge we are not talking about they are not processing anything is that they are not processing anything just they have the access controls are there okay if that is the case is it right this is a example of a general control is that this is the example of a general control next gaita tell me but sir why it is general it control you didn't say that general for all stuff information process it is for specific stuff Gen see why it is general control good question only authorized staff okay of have only authorized staff have re read and write access to the finance system is that authorized you are authorizing is it right you are authorizing to the staff who whoever is eligible whoever is eligible they have the access to the Uh, re, uh, they have the access to the read and write access to the system okay fine means you are not you are not focusing on a specific staff nor you are read and access okay you are just access the files you are not processing it we are not process processing means you are generating the report something like that okay now because of we are saying it is a finance authorized staff means you are giving a control across all the all the authorized staff all the all the authorized staff if you are giving a control to all the authorized staff then it is a general control see the thing i will give you an another example you have a finance department in the finance department you have that card lock system is there pin system you have the bank take my word is that you have the bank in the bank what will happen you have you have they say only authorized staff has to enter is that they say that only authorized staff has to enter when you say authorized staff has to enter whoever the staff working in that bank all are authorized staff is that all are authorized staff you see observe next time is that all are authorized staff only authorized staff can enter now what they are doing inside what which activity they are processing inside we don't know which activity they are processing inside we don't know but every authorized person it may be the manager it may be the the person who is helping it may be the uh, supervisor it may be the clerk it may be the teller whoever is there everybody has to has the authorization to enter the restricted area if everyone has the authorization to enter the restricted area then it is called as a general control is it clear to you now yes next the finance department won't allow in negative invoice amount to be entered or a positive credit note amount it presents an error message and the input screen needs to be corrected before proceeding yes gaita information processing control sir is that right? information processing and because the reason i will tell you it will not pr processing is done you are gi giving a negative amount it will not accept you are gi you are giving a you and not not a positive credit amount okay any amounts are there they will check it presents an error message because before it goes to the next screen it will process is that it will process and the input screen needs to be corrected any any errors are there you have to correct before you go to the next step is that if you give if we give some some invalid inputs it will not accept understand one it will give, normally it will not accept and it will give a in a red color is it it is called as a processing control next laila
automatic backups automatic backups of the finance systems occur each night to separate virtual online server did you explain that what is pardon Did you explain the meaning of this point? Automatic backups. Is it right? Automatic backups. You have your system. Is it right? You have the system. Every staff will have the system. What will happen at the end of the day? They it will take backups. Is it right? It, server will be there. Server. We don't know. We are, we are we are going to the office. We are going to the bank. We do our job. We come back. What IT department will do? IT department will take the backup of all the systems. all the data they will take they will take the all the data they will take that's why i say automatic backup of the finance system occur each night to a separate virtual server is it it, it will take automatic it's not specific is it it, it is a processing done but it is not done for one it is done done for all the finance systems is it general or it is information processing general sir next laila uh, gaita only it only is it that only it administrations can install so id administrator they are not talking about specific the any administrator of the it department can install software on the same server that hosts the finance system and an anti virus software checks the install file for the new software before Installation commences. Information processing control, sir. Any processing is happening. Any specific yes. specific item is happening. It is a process control. Now the first point they say, the only IT administrators. When they say only IT administrators, any administrator. Is it you have? See, you are you are having some. trouble it your system you will call it department what will happen in the it department five people are there anyone will come to you and they will they will do the things is that all five people have the access is that all the five people have the access to make the to access the server is that to access the server all five people are having access is it you are not going to say that particular person has to be there is it you should not are not saying that particular person has to be there if if anything in general in it is applicable to all then it is a general control if it is anything particular in the point number 2 it is very specific amount rules then it is a processing it is a, it is related to amount negative amount positive amount it will not go to the next screen it is a processing here nothing is happening processing okay it is not happening you you have to install you have to do any modification you are calling it administrators anyone will come okay anyone will come is it all people who are working in the it department have the passwords okay all the people who are working in the it department have the same password they will access it and they will do the correction then it is going to be called as general it is it okay gaita yes sir read <coughs> read read these things okay always keep it in point the correct answers are only authorized staff have read and write access to system other users have only read only access they require for the job it's a general control the finance department won't allow negative amount it is a processing control automatic backups it is a general control 
and IT administrators is a general contract. Read this one again. Okay, this this one again. Is it okay? Yes, sir. It's take, clear now. Take your time. I will ask. If I'm if I'm reminding means I am I'm I'm putting time control in front of me. I'm but don't say that you are you are asking it's over over. Don't rush. You just wait, complete it and say yes. Is it okay, Gaita? Yes, sir. Yes, Gaita. Sorry, Laila. Is Laila, Laila, it's okay? Yes, sir. Next. Read the next one. In relation to the control relating to the receipts of a new asset. Okay, they have said new asset. What first read? What first read what they are talking about new asset in the new asset the fourth paragraph okay when cherry has an internal audit department which has provided you with details of the internal controls around the non-current assets cycle one such control is that upon receipt of a new asset each asset is assigned a unique number good and it is recorded on the asset and the non-current asset register. Okay, they are following the rules. Now, what is the question they are asking us? They are asking is, which is the most reliable? Is that which is the most reliable? Now, they, it is a catch. Is it that in, in relation to the control relating to the receipt of the new asset, which of the following most reliable procedure which enable the auditor to assess whether control is operating effectively? Try yourself. All are reliable. All are reliable. They say which is the best one. Three and I'll go. <clears throat> what is two and four, sir? The fourth option. Two and yes. what about you, Lela? Same, sir. Two huh? and four. Two and four.
select a sample of capital additions is a sample of capital additions select a sample sample is very important okay select a sample of capital additions on the side agree that serial number is recorded on the asset it has been number has been b1 on the asset and confirm it is included in non current asset register is that means you are making a very clear you are you are agree means what is given on the asset and what is given in the non current asset register first is that i will give okay sequentially select a sample of assets recorded on the non current we are coming from back is it right? we have to see when you are receiving start from the beginning any time start from the beginning come from the back okay select a sample of recorded assets on the non current asset register confirm that it includes a serial number for each assets and agree to the number of number to the physical asset it is also reliable i am not saying you are not saying it is not reliable it is also reliable the most important is primary source is very important second coming from back is not that that is secondary importance okay i will go with the first one okay first one next inspect you are inspecting understand inspect the non current asset and verify there are no deep duplicate serial numbers is that most reliable you are inspecting under the, your first hand information you are going and seeing that the any asset is having a duplicate number it is more reliable you are inspecting inspecting is more reliable than observing yeah you are observing fine you are observing from distance but you are inspecting directly observe the receipts of assets to confirm serial numbers are assigned no we are very much clear about that when the asset is received we are putting number on the asset then we are recording in the non current asset register fine when you are recording in the non current asset register most reliable is it right there are which are two they are say most reliable two is that select a sample first most reliable is inspect inspect the non current asset register verify there are no duplicate numbers okay next the first one select a sample of additions agree whatever number is return on that on that asset is going to be confirmed with the register mean the asset number and the register number has to be same is right asset number and register number are to be all are reliable okay now which is the correct answer Two and three, sir. Two and three. Okay, all are correct. They are saying most reliable. Okay, most reliable. Yes, Gaita. Yes, sir. Two and three. which one is there read explanation read explanation the direction of the test is important if the sample of serial numbers were taken from the non current register the physical assets which are not assigned serial numbers were not recorded would not be identified if you are taking from the back is it right what happens some serial numbers are not recorded then it will be not reflected reviewing the non current asset register 
to identify duplicate serial numbers will identify instances where the serial number assigned were not unique will not unique is right we have we should we should you should not have any duplicate numbers observation is a valid it is observation is a valid audit procedure they are not ignoring it but it provides a weak form is a inspection is more strong observation is little bit weak if you come across these type of questions then you have to make sure that you have to give importance to inspection then observation observation you are using from distance is that inspection you are having doing by your own is that both are valid procedures but it is observation is a weak inspection is a strong is it okay also sir because uh, professional uh, audit should be have question mark which is inspection yes is it okay yes sir okay i will send this file and questions in will be in the sequence form only okay questions will be in the sequence tomorrow i am going to do section b okay tomorrow i am going to do section b as such okay next okay somewhere we will go 